So today we're going to learn about Genesis, and one story from Genesis is creation in the fall. And God created the earth, and it was with without form and void, and in the darkness. And on the first day, he creates light, and he divides the light from the darkness. And he calls the light day and the darkness night. And then on the second day, he creates the firmament and divides the waters above and under the firmament. And he called the firmament heaven. And then on the third day, he creates dry land to appear from the waters under the heaven. He calls the dry land earth and the water seas and grass, herbs, and trees grow on the earth. And then on the fourth day, he creates the greater light to rule the day, and that greater light is sun, and the lesser light to rule the night, which is the moon. And he creates the stars and sets them in the firmament of heaven. And next he creates the sea creatures and birds, and he gives this blessing to all his works, be fruitful and multiply. And then on that sixth day, he creates land animals. And he creates man in his own image and likeness. And he gives man dominion over all the creatures of the earth. And he blesses man and tells them to be fruitful and multiply. And then he rested on the seventh day. And then he put man in the Garden of Eden and tells man not to eat from the fruit of the tree of knowledge of good and evil. And he created, God created all the creatures. And Adam was given the charge to name all the creatures. But God noticed that man was lonely. So he puts Adam in a deep sleep and creates woman from one of Adam's ribs. And while they're in the garden, Eve is confronted by the serpent. And the serpent tells her not to eat, tells her that God doesn't want her, her to eat from the tree in the middle of the garden because she'll die. But the serpent said God doesn't want them to eat from that tree because their eyes would be open and they would be like gods and know good and evil. So Eve sees the fruit and it looks really good and so she eats it and gives some to Adam. And at the moment they ate that fruit, they were naked, and they knew it, and they sewed fig leaves together and made aprons from themselves, and then they also hid from God when he came in the garden. Now at the end here, there are consequences for man, for woman, and for the serpent. And the serpent, he'll be cursed, and God will put enmity between the woman and the serpent. And God will cause the woman pain during childbirth, and man is going to rule over her. And Adam is charged that he'll have to work all the days of the life, and one day he will die. And at the end of the creation story, Adam and Eve are kicked out of the garden. So there's your summary of the creation story and the fall in about four minutes.